Okay, we are given 36 sorted ages, and we want to find the 50th percentile. Now, the 50th percentile is also the median, and it is also the uh, um, second quartile. So when you're looking, and they don't actually call that if you look at the five-number surgery. They just call it the median. But the point is, is that quartiles and percentiles are the same thing. Quartiles are just fancy names for specific, specific percentiles. So the process I'm going over here to find a percentile is the same you would use to find a quartile. You just have to know which quartile you're talking about. Um, I don't want that data. That was the last problem I was doing. Um, the other thing is, is you could technically find this one by finding the median, but we don't want to do that because we want to go over the process for a percentile. So this doesn't matter what number this is. It'll work for anything. So I'm going to open this up in Excel. Now, if this wasn't already sorted, you would need to sort it but they've sorted it for us, so we don't have to do that. But you know how to sort that in Excel, hopefully. If you come over here, you can go to sort and filter, sort smallest to largest. Now, the next thing I need to know is I need to know what number is at the 50. So there are 36 ages here. I want to know what 36 times whatever the percentage here, in this case 50.5, is. Um, so if this was the... 17th percentile, I would do 36 times 0.17. Um, so I'm just changing this number to a percent, a decimal, and I'm multiplying. Now, I get 18. Now remember, though, there's two scenarios. If you have a whole number, you actually round. It's weird. You think, oh, there's my 18. But you actually round are going to average 18 and 19 because it's a whole number. So your decimal, you just get to round up and use that one. If you have a whole number you have to round. So my answer is actually going to be the average of 43 and 20 and 50. 43 and 50. So I'm going to do the average of, let's see here, A18 and A19. Now obviously you could do this in your calculators quickly. And the answer is 47. So I come back here and I'm going to type in 47 and I'm going to check my answer. And so you can see that's all you have to do here. The main thing you've got to remember is that percentiles, you start by with the sorted list, you're looking at where it falls on the list. You're looking, you know, kind of how does this data divide up into groups. Um, in a quartile, you just need to know which percentiles they reference. Uh, and the other thing is, is that little weird rule of that whole numbers actually end up getting average, kind of like the median does. And uh, whereas if you get a decimal, you just get to round up and use it. So it's kind of a funky thing because we think, well, we should round decimals. Well, no, in this case, it's the whole numbers.